Canva versus CapCut versus a tool you might not have tried yet, Vizard. Which one actually makes your life easier for day-to-day -day video editing and posting workflow? Hey everyone, in this video, we are diving deep into a thorough face-off between these three distinct platforms, focusing on their desktop or web versions to ensure a completely fair fight, since most of you are editing on a laptop anyway. We will rigorously run through the user interface, core features, editing workflow, available effects, captioning quality, audio handling, essential export options, the true pricing realities, and ultimately determine who each tool is best suited for based on your specific content goals. Let's immediately kick things off with the user interface because that critical first impression is where you either feel instantly comfortable or decide to immediately rage quit the whole process. When you first open Canva, you are immediately greeted with this incredibly clean, almost distraction-free minimal workspace that's designed for immediate use. The entire philosophy is built around simplicity. You get easy drag and drop functionality, a wealth of large templates to start from and very clearly labeled icons for every primary action. If you have genuinely never touched a video editor before in your life, Canva's intuitive environment is remarkably forgiving because you can slap elements onto the canvas, move them around freely, resize easily, and it just logically makes sense. This makes the tool absolutely perfect if your primary day-to-day -day job revolves around creating polished marketing collateral, eye-catching thumbnails, or just light video snippets to support a broader visual brand strategy. CapCut, by significant contrast, feels like it was clearly engineered by experienced professionals who previously spent countless hours editing in traditional software like Premiere or Final Cut Pro. It presents you with the traditional editing timeline that features multiple, clearly segregated tracks, fine-grained controls for every single clip, and a layout that is inherently more technical in nature. If you have any previous editing experience whatsoever, you will instantly feel quite comfortable navigating the space. But if you are a total novice, there is a distinct learning curve accompanied by much more raw creative power available once you master it. Now entering the arena, Vizard is definitely playing an entirely different specialized game compared to the other two contenders. The entire user interface is purpose-built and highly optimized around the specific task of efficiently repurposing your existing long-form footage into numerous short, high-impact, post-ready clips. It is intentionally not trying to be every single creative tool under the sun. Instead, it is laser focused on maximizing your throughput and overall content velocity for publishing. You still navigate a clean layout, but instead of managing a million tiny manual adjustment knobs, the integrated AI surfaces the most important moments for you and presents ready to post clips complete with a publishing calendar. Consequently, the true learning curve is much shallower for basic operation, but the required mental model shifts entirely to one focused on producing significantly more content, much faster than before. Moving on from the initial look, let's discuss the crucial next step, uploading your media and actually getting started with your project creation process. With Canva, the process is exceedingly simple. You navigate to the Uploads section, drag your desired file and drop it directly onto the canvas, which is super straightforward for anyone. CapCut requires you to create a new project first, then you import your media and finally drop the file onto the correct track on the timeline where you can immediately begin trimming clips. Fortunately, both platforms readily accept all the standard video formats you are likely working with, most notably the universally accepted MP4 file type. Furthermore, CapCut caters to the more technically inclined professional by displaying useful readouts like current bit rates and resolution right alongside the media for those who care about those granular details. Vizard's onboarding experience feels slightly different because its entire system is intentionally designed around ingesting and processing much longer form content rather than single short clips. You upload your complete long videos, think full podcasts, recorded webinars, or entire live streams, and then the powerful AI engine begins analyzing that entire massive file for key moments. Instead of you having to painstakingly decide every single cut point, Vizard intelligently finds the most compelling highlight moments, suggests a batch of short clips based on them, and provides immediate previews. This means the upload flow is less about meticulously preparing one polished edit and much more about feeding the AI raw material to receive a high volume of potential short clips back very quickly. It is astonishingly fast and frankly it becomes quite addictive once you start seeing just how many genuinely usable snippets the system is able to automatically pull out of your existing recordings. Now that we understand the intake process, let's dive right into the actual hands-on experience of editing and refining those captured moments. Canva provides you with all the fundamental editing necessities. Basic trimming, simple splitting, speed adjustments, standard transitions, text overlays and ready-made animated elements. It performs excellently for crafting simple social posts and light marketing pieces, especially when maintaining consistent visual brand templates across all your output is a top priority. However, you will quickly discover that it is simply not architected to handle complex tasks like mask-based special effects, detailed object motion tracking, or any kind of sophisticated multi-layer audio workflows. CapCut emerges as the clear heavy hitter in this comparison when you are looking to execute truly creative and complex edits for your projects. It offers an arsenal of advanced trimming tools, precise speed ramping capabilities, keyframe animation, crucial motion tracking, and literally tons of built-in visual effects like lens flares, glitch effects, VHS styles, and color burns. 
CapCut also thoughtfully includes powerful utility features like a superb auto reframe tool for easily converting landscape to vertical while keeping the subject perfectly centered, plus background removal and object blurring capabilities. In short, if your creative vision requires flashy, high-impact visual edits or you demand meticulous, detailed control over every pixel and frame, then CapCut definitively has every tool you will need. Where Vizard truly secures its unique advantage is by operating on a completely different layer of the editing process, focusing squarely on automated curation and unparalleled efficiency. Instead of you needing to spend hours manually scrubbing and hunting for the best 15 to 60 second moments, Vizard's AI actively detects potentially viral worthy segments, pulls them out instantly and generates them as ready to post clips. You still retain the ability to tweak these suggested clips. You can easily change the crop, refine the added captions, or swap out the background music. But the most tedious heavy lift of finding the moments is entirely handled for you. For professional creators who are expected to pump out multiple short clips every single week to maintain platform presence, this automation represents an absolutely massive time saver in their schedule. Shifting our focus to creative flourishes and stylistic effects, Canva's approach is generally more design forward, emphasizing overlays, stylized stickers, and simple, clean animations. It produces fantastic results for those clean, polished, and highly branded visuals. But if your vision calls for gritty, dynamic, or highly stylized video effects, you will generally find yourself quite limited by the platform. CapCut decisively wins the category for raw creative effects because it effectively gives editors an unrestricted playground filled with every conceivable filter, stylized look, and dramatic effect imaginable. It is crucial to understand that Vizard is clearly not attempting to directly replace CapCut in its role as a specialized comprehensive effects lab for meticulous editors. Instead, Vizard provides you with highly practical platform-optimized clips that inherently feature smart, attention-grabbing framing, and strong opening hooks designed to stop the scroll immediately. You absolutely can still apply your own custom overlays, utilize simple transitions, and implement branding styles before exporting those finalized clips cleanly for Reels, Shorts, or TikTok distribution. Let's talk about captions and overall accessibility because, let's be honest, that is a massive deal for audience reach in the current social media landscape. CapCut provides an excellent auto-captioning feature that functions remarkably well, creating fully stylized, easily editable subtitles that genuinely save the user a substantial amount of precious time. Canva currently lacks first-class built-in auto-captioning functionality, meaning you are forced to either add all the text manually or rely on third-party integrations, which always introduces an extra inconvenient step. Visit integrates essential auto-caption generation directly into its core repurpose workflow, intelligently pairing it with the context-aware trimming decisions the AI has already made. To put it another way, you don't just receive automatic captions. The specific clip the AI selected usually comes already packaged with a ready-to-use subtitle set that you always have the freedom to edit later if necessary. That powerful combination truly matters because high-quality captions paired with AI-selected viral-worthy cuts directly translates to significantly better reach without creating any extra manual busywork for you. Shifting our attention to audio handling, Canva allows you to easily upload your preferred background music, trim it precisely, and make simple volume adjustments for basic layering. CapCut provides a much more robust experience, allowing for multiple discrete audio tracks, access to a library of sound effects, smooth fades, automatic syncing to music beats, and even an AI voice generator for quick narration needs. It is generally accepted that CapCut is the superior choice if your project requires any form of complex audio engineering or detailed sound design work. Visit, on the other hand, intelligently focuses its audio processing solely on those crucial sonic moments that typically cause a short clip to become viral, like a big laugh, a controversial hot take, or a surprising statistic being delivered. The system will automatically normalize the clip's existing audio, optionally add some suitable background music underneath, and present you with a clean, fully captioned final segment. If you genuinely need heavy-duty audio engineering, you will rightly default to CapCut or a true NLE, but if your main objective is turning long content into snackable, highly watchable shorts with generally decent audio, Visit executes that perfectly. Regarding export options, Canva prioritizes accessibility, allowing you to easily choose a resolution up to 1080p on its free tier. Hit the download button and your file is ready to go. CapCut caters to the advanced creator by providing pro-level export settings, supporting resolutions up to a crisp 4K, giving control over frame rate and bit rate, and offering various format choices, ideal for delivering client-ready masters. Visit's entire export workflow is strategically framed around the specific social platforms you are targeting, offering optimized aspect ratios and presets for everything from TikTok and Shorts to Instagram and LinkedIn. And because Vizard is fundamentally designed for high volume scale, you gain the powerful ability to batch export dozens of clips at once or even schedule the direct publishing to your social accounts if you choose to automate that step too. 
That fully automated pipeline running seamlessly from your initial long-form recording all the way to the scheduled short posts appearing online is truly Vizard's defining superpower in this comparison. Regarding the crucial topic of pricing, let's just acknowledge that both Canva and CapCut offer remarkably generous free tiers for basic usage to get you started. Canva's paid pro subscription primarily unlocks access to their massive library of premium stock assets, exclusive design templates, and extra team collaboration features as it's widely adopted in team environments. CapCut keeps almost all of its powerful editing features completely free, only asking for a paid pro tier upgrade for additional premium assets and essential cloud storage functionality. The practical reality is that if you specifically need those advanced granular editing tools and a wide array of creative effects without needing to spend a significant amount of money, CapCut offers absolutely insane value right now. Visit is not positioned or trying to compete as the cheapest brute force manual editor on the market. Rather, it's priced as a dedicated, high ROI time-saving platform for content velocity. For creators who highly value pure velocity, meaning turning one single long video into an entire week's worth of ready shorts and having them automatically scheduled, the return on investment is truly immediate and significant. Fundamentally, you are paying a premium for the sheer power of automation that integrates the entire creation process, not just for a basic set of manual editing functions, most high-volume creators find that the sheer amount of time saved, combined with the increased engagement gained from more consistent posting, quickly offsets the subscription cost, especially if you regularly produce content like podcasts or live streams. So concluding this entire breakdown, the definitive question becomes, who should realistically choose to use which specific application for their needs? If your preference leans toward clean professional templates, creating beautiful marketing assets, and executing only light video edits, think simple promo posts or quick visual clips, then Canva remains a fantastic and reliable choice. If you are an editor who enjoys being hands-on, who demands advanced effects, requires precise frame-by-frame -frame control, and values absolute creative freedom above all else, then CapCut or a traditional NLE is definitely the correct move for you. However, if your singular main objective is achieving massive content scale, meaning efficiently turning long videos into a high volume of short, platform-ready clips while publishing them consistently without spending your entire week inside the editing timeline, Vizard is the tool engineered to fundamentally change the game for you. It is essential to note that Vizard isn't making an effort to replace CapCut for heavy creative lifting or Canva for template-based design, but it successfully solves the completely separate and growing pain point of content velocity. This tool finds your best moments, cuts them up smartly based on engagement metrics, automatically applies captions, and can even push them out to the relevant social channels on a schedule. For busy solo creators, overwhelmed social media managers, or small internal teams struggling to maintain a steady, high stream of content, this level of dedicated automation is practically pure gold. To offer a final quick recap of the core differences, Canva is simple and designed first, CapCut is feature-rich and built for the experienced editor, while Vizard is firmly automation first and specifically repurposing focused. Speaking personally, if you only produce occasional edits and genuinely love working within pre-designed templates, I would wholeheartedly recommend sticking with Canva for its simplicity. If you love diving deep into the creative process, tinkering with every single effect, and demanding complete control over your final look, then CapCut is absolutely the right choice for you. But if you publish long-form content, and your most urgent need is transforming it into a week's worth of short clips extremely fast, Vizard will genuinely save you many hours and likely force you to post more consistently, which is the actual ultimate driver of organic growth. Now I want to hear from you. Drop a comment down below and let me know which one of these powerful tools you are currently using or if you are, like many of us, actually juggling all three platforms simultaneously. If this video was helpful in guiding your decision-making process and you are eager to see the automation in action, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel and ringing the notification bell so you do not miss the deep dive walkthrough I plan to film next. If you specifically want to see a complete walkthrough demonstrating exactly how I turn a single one-hour podcast episode into a full week's worth of engaging shorts using Visit's entire system, please tell me in the comments and I can film that next. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this detailed comparison today and I sincerely hope to see you all again in the next video for more practical tech breakdowns.